good day students i am trying to discuss the essay in praise of ignorance so i am first introduce introducing you to the author the author heller belloc from 1870 to 1953 was born in a village outside paris on the eve of the franco prussian war so remember on the eve of franco prussian war belloc went to balliol college oxford university where he became president of the oxford union then he became a naturalized british citizen in 1902 so remember naturalized british citizen in 1902 it facilitated his involvement in politics so he was involved in politics his corpus includes verses fiction essays history biography and a huge number of letters he was also the editor of the political weekly i witness remember i witness i have already shared the pdf with you so open the pdf he became friends with gk chesterton and george bernard shaw george bernard shaw is a english he is an english dramatist of the 20th century known for realism so remember george bernard shaw he is an english dramatist of the 20th century known for realism who together with ag wells english novelist of the 20th century popular for his science fiction one of his very famous science fiction is time machine so he came to be known as the big four of edwardian letters belloc's prose style is on the whole free from journalistic peculiarities though many of his essays were originally written for newspapers and periodicals his major works include cautionary tales for children so remember his major works include cautionary tales for children it is a poetry collection collection of essays on nothing on anything on something so remember on nothing on anything on something now we will take the critical appreciation the title in praise of ignorance is very appropriate belloc has framed the present essay on the model of erasmus book mario and comium he clearly states the fact that our field of knowledge is very small as compared to the vast ocean 
of ignorance. Belloc is of the view that becoming aware of one's ignorance is good as it leads towards learning. So remember this, Belloc is of the view that becoming awareness, becoming aware of one's ignorance is good as it leads towards learning. Going against the popular notion according to which examinations are considered to be a minence, the essays is of the view that though he himself was intimidated by examinations, they are good in the sense that they reveal our ignorance of many things. So remember examinations reveal our ignorance of many things. Belloc opines that ignorance is drought of beatitude while stating the spiritual joys of ignorance he says that a wide campaign attracts the eye of viewers till the time they are unfamiliar with the nasty attitude of its inhabitants. Similarly, the ignorance of the real intentions of our friends and relatives makes us happy. But that is a false show. They just tolerate us. They just tolerate us. People face difficulties and situations bravely only because they do not know what would happen in future. Ignorance of future makes us do great adventurous deeds. So I am repeating, people face difficulties and situations bravely only because they do not know what would happen in future. Ignorance of future makes us do great adventurous deeds. Keeping in view these advantages, Belloc expresses his gratitude to God for his ignorance. Keeping in view these advantages, Belloc expresses his gratitude to God for his ignorance. So now students, you might have understood why he is justifying that ignorance is bliss. So try to uh, write short type answers on ignorance is bliss. Thank you.